I wanted it to be a series that was had forward prospect, and that is a very human thing. How do you take landscape forward and not feel sad refrain, which is usually the currency of what photography has in landscape? How do you make it into something positive, uh, forward-looking, and with a sense of the ahead? I was brought up in the 60s where music uh, changed the world, and I'd like art to do the same thing. So it's my hope, really, that we begin to develop a new conscious understanding and a new way of helping and not hindering the beautiful natural world that, we're, that we live in. I'm really worried about how we are killing everything and everything is disappearing and it's really, really sad. And it, I think this is a really nice way of making people aware. For me, like a, a life without bird song is kind of not worth living. I mean, it's, it's a, a, bit, a bit absolute tragic loss. It's not always about the money, you know, it can be about wanting to say something. I just wanted to make things, but I didn't want to bring anything new into the world because there's so much stuff out there already that we just don't need and don't want. So that's why I started using recycled materials and things out of my collection. Very often we read about the, the negative things that are happening um, across the world in the news and being bombarded um, with horrific headlines but there's a lot more resting in between those headlines and that is the positive work that people are doing and the hopes that people have for the future and who better really to look at the future and, and how we really connect with the environment and the emotions we feel and what drives us to do things in a, in a better greener way um, than artists. All we can do as artists is begin to kind of tease out ideas about how we might begin to you know, interact with landscape. A sense of kind of empathy, if people are aware, being aware of what they do and what effect it has, then you have, a, I think, a better environment. I've found my way of doing things, so it's a celebration of creative thinking in one's immediate environment. Hopefully for me it's a celebration of life, and it's something fun that I enjoy doing. There has to be a sense of caring. If there isn't the caring, it doesn't really matter, does it, really? We believe that the only way we're going to shift attitudes and culture away from our dependence on fossil fuels is to um, bring new positive messages to people and show that there's a better world out there and that they can have a win-win, that they can have, for example, an investment that gives them a return on their money as well as producing a better world and also help fund things like this, help fund art that shows a better way of living. I can juxtapose this uh, dream world of mine, this uh, subconscious art, in a city context. I like that. I like the juxtaposition to get people in the city to just step back for a second and, and start imagining again. I needed to be on the, on the cusp so that you are part of the idea of engaging people emotionally as you're engaging their imaginations as well. I would like to be able to make just good art for the rest of my life. That's it, pretty much. When one reads the news and sees how, how this sort of ecological crisis is deepening, one, one, each of us have to sort of ask those questions about what, what is it that, how is it that we're operating that's sort of driven us to move away from you know, an, an aligned existence with, um, with the earth. And we've sort of see, we've seen ourselves as over and above the rest of nature. We've almost kind of feel like we've dominated it and therefore are in, sort of separated from it in many ways. It's through creativity and other human acts of courage, kindness. Those are the kind of, those are the things that we see on a daily basis which give us hope for the endurance of the human spirit. I mean, it's one thing for people to kind of appreciate the paintings and acknowledge the problem, but in a way, it won't be effective until it helps them actually effect some change. It gives a sense of possibility, and that's, I think, what we're all after. The reason we thought it was important to hold a show like this, which is fundamentally looking at how we connect with the environment, is because we now face huge challenges in overcoming some massive environmental issues, such as loss of biodiversity, climate change and looking at how we actually work together to a more sustainable future. Human nature is a celebration of emerging and cutting-edge environmental art. 
showcasing photography, artworks made from upcycled materials, painting, sculpture and street art. There's no denying that we face huge challenges in how we as humans interact with nature. It feels more important than ever to take a look at our complex relationship with the environment, and who better to do so than artists? Questioning the very essence of our humanity, this mixed medium exhibition explores what drives us to connect to our environment and how we're responding to nature's call to adapt to a world of finite resources.